Hi, Jeffrey Langloy, Langloy's Vital Nutrition Center here in Brookfield, Wisconsin. Um, all right, today we're going to go over my hair test. Um, this is my hair test from July of 2020. Okay, so remember we want to get things in the blue. Uh, this is pretty good. I've had some better ones, but this is pretty solid. I had a few areas I needed to work on. I really need to get up my zinc and selenium. I had kind of dropped the ball on that. Those are down here. Um, and my calcium. So, uh, I waited a little long in order to do the next one, uh, you know, honestly with COVID and trying to keep the business going and all that fun stuff. Um, this is my one from September of this year. Now, I'm going to see a lot of high things and that's actually good. Uh, especially, we're going to start right here with the high copper and the high manganese, okay? That's excellent, okay? Constantly talking about you have to have minerals and energy in the body in order to detoxify. You're also going to see here, I circled all the yellow ones that improved as all these heavy metals. I put a yellow. It's a little hard to see around that there. Really faint. But all my heavy metals went up. And people are like, well, where did that come from? So usually around page... Uh, 16 or 17, just depends on your book. You're going to have a description here on toxic metals and chemicals. And the most important thing is, uh, it says here, when the body's energy is low, the elimination of toxins is impaired and toxins are retained. Okay? Toxic metals are often layered deep within the body. So the body, when it's poisoned, it has to store the toxins, okay, because they can't have them in your blood. It can't have them in your body. It's got to get rid of them. So either it gets it in the toilet or it's going to store it in your tissues. It's going to store it in your muscles, your joints, in your brain tissue, your spot, wherever. It's going to generally in fat. So toxins go into fat cells. So when toxins go up on a hair test, and this is toxic levels of copper, and manganese, these are called, even though these are good minerals, we can have poor quality of good minerals that are stored in the body, like copper from copper drinking water from pipes. So the pipes in most people's houses are copper. That is not a copper that's good for our bodies. What good copper is, is copper that's in food. It's in the plant cycle or in, in an animal. Copper eating copper pipes or pennies or whatever, but drinking water from copper pipes actually puts a bad kind of copper in your body. Your body doesn't handle that copper well. Just like your body doesn't eat rocks. You can't go and eat rocks to get minerals. Even though there's minerals in rocks, you have to eat the plant or the animal because they've processed the mineral for you. So this is actually good, and that's what's going to raise that sodium and potassium and sometimes magnesium is the stress that puts on the body by getting these out of the body. So it's actually a good thing. Most of my trace minerals went up. Uh, I did this in September. I'm going to do another one in probably February. So just in a few months, we'll get another update. But I thought I should share my most recent hair test so you can see the changes that take place, what you don't want to have is all these really low minerals that we see in a lot of people. You've got to get your gut working. Uh, follow your GAPS diet, your paleo diet. Those people always do the best. The people that get off the grains, they get off the gluten, um, they get off the beans, they get off, they get off processed foods. But generally, the grain eating uh, pretty much destroys most people's guts. Um, we're not good grain eaters, okay? All right. Thank you.